Smart home technology has been present since the 1990s, but it was mainly reserved for those with significant resources or who live technologically. Smart gadgets, protocols and software have become popular in recent years. When you begin automating your house and you begin to experience the benefits of doing so, you will immediately want to do more, but you may not know what to do next. Because the possibilities offered by home automation are practically unlimited, in order to provide you with the assistance in getting started with home automation, we have compiled a list of some of the top home automation ideas. Today, we will show you 15 creative home automation ideas and setup. So let's get started. Number 15, smart lighting. What if your dog barks at night and the floodlight doesn't turn on? Why not automate a light for when you open the door at night? Automatic porch lights give nighttime security to your home. When you open a door at night, your home automation system can turn on outdoor lights. You can use this idea to boost your home's nighttime LED soffit illumination. What will you need? Place the entry sensor along the door such that opening it separates the contacts. And time triggers. Set the window from dusk to dawn. Replace your present switch, install a smart switch, or utilize smart bulbs to manage your external lights. Number 14. Welcoming party. When you get home, the lights turn on so you may enter. They can be on for minutes or till bedtime. In addition to automation, we recommend motion-sensitive lights for home security. What will you need? Geofencing. It leverages your phone's location to trigger other phone-controlled operations. If your home automation app doesn't allow geofencing, you could do something similar with IFTTT or Tasker. You might also utilize RFID tags. IFTTT control Wemo lights with a location-based trigger. Tasker on Android can trigger lights in the range of home Wi-Fi or via GPS. Put a presence sensor or radio frequency identity tag in your automobile and your system can react when you're within 300 feet. Motion sensors. A smart light switch or bulb. There are connected wall switches and bulbs for conventional outlets. Add them to flood or porch lights to highlight your landing strip. Number 13. Smart Garage Door Closer Yes, you may buy a Chamberlain Garage Door Closer, Smart Garage Opener Controller, or Automated Closer that closes your door if you leave it open. These can make your home automation system smarter. Use a Garage Door Entry Sensor or Tilt Sensor to know when it's open. What you will need Entry Sensor Place the entry sensor along the door such that opening it separates the contacts. Location-based triggers only lock the door when you're away. Geofencing. IFTTT location trigger. Tasker. Open the door when your phone leaves home Wi-Fi or via GPS. When you leave your automobile, a presence sensor can alert the system. Motion sensor. A connected garage door opener. Number 12. Housewarming. It's one of those home automation ideas that'll make you smile. Use your location to adjust your smart thermostat 15 minutes before you arrive. Accounting for those without a phone or tag is difficult. You could have a home mode override. The friendly greeting only benefits you. What you will need. If you can afford the nest, great, but there are alternative possibilities. Location-specific triggers. Set the thermostat while you're heading home. Number 11. Good night, Google. Once your home automation hub is set up, it's as easy as telling Google Home or Amazon Alexa to execute your good night ritual. What you will need. Google Home is great for Android users and Chromecast owners, or Amazon Echo and Powers. Voice-operated personal assistants might be a dot, tap, or dash wand, and a smart light switch. Living room or external lights work well, or Z-Wave or Zigbee smart bulbs in public lamps. Number 10, automatic leak mitigation. This is perfect for second homeowners and sleepers. Water moisture sensors can detect leaks in sinks, toilets, water heaters, clothing, and dishwashers. The leak can shut off water to the whole house. What you will need. Place moisture or leak sensors in bathrooms, kitchens, and laundry. Install a smart water valve after the manual water main shuts off to your home. If you don't want to pay for a smart valve, you can utilize an I.O. module with an electronic valve. Number 9. The laundry's done. Do you forget wet clothing in the washer overnight? Nosy, right? If you're outside, upstairs, in the shower or deaf, 
Utilize a reminder or SMS message. What you will need. Vibration sensor. Place it directly on the washing machine and use motion to no motion as the trigger. Notification integration. SMS integration. An email integration. Number eight, power down. It's simple. You can trigger it from your phone, but your wife's acceptability will be lower. Why not put a control on the nightstand? When you're ready to lock up and go to bed, your home automation system does the rest. Set a timer so you don't forget what you will need. Putting a lock on every door might be expensive, so start with one or two at the main entrances. Turn down your Nest, Ecobee or Z-Wave smart thermostat. Smart outlets, plugs and switches turn off most used lights. Linked alarm, a panel that links directly to your system or allows IFTTT integration. Number seven, turn light blue when it's about to rain. Alexa and Google Home aren't always audible in the living room. To warn of impending rain, switch some house lights blue so you can wash it inside or put the top on your convertible before it rains. What you will need, smart RGB lights, home weather app. Number six, turn off your heating AC when your windows are open. It's sometimes great to let the fresh air in. It's also wasteful to use heating or air conditioning with the windows open. Door and window sensors can convert your smart thermostat to eco away mode to save electricity. What you will need, door or window sensor, smart thermostat. Number five, mail call. Say you get essential mail often. How do you know if you can't watch the front window? You may sabotage the Jeep's muffler or install a mailbox sensor. What you will need, entry sensor. Attach the entry sensor to the postal box door and body. Network accessible mailbox. You may want to put the transmitter on the door so there's less metal to attenuate the signal when it's opened. Number four, night lights. Whatever your purpose for getting up at night, modest lighting can prevent stubbed toes. With the correct motion sensors, it's easy. What you will need, mount a motion sensor under your bed to detect your steps. Bed occupancy sensor, tricky if you share a bed. However, a sensor on both sides could work. Time triggers. Set the routine's active times from 12 to daybreak. A clever dimmer. Don't damage your night vision. Or a smart light bulb. Not recommended in bedrooms, but fine everywhere. Number three, smart shower fan. It's easy to forget to turn on and off bathroom exhaust fans, right? Chances are your husband, kids and visitors won't recall. Let your smart home help. What you will need. A humidity sensor runs the fan when humidity is high. A smart light. Replace your fan's dumb switch with a smart one, but be sure to check the current drawer first. Number two, artificial sunrise. Once your lights are connected to your home automation setup, set the schedule. Your hub's firmware may limit how long your smart lights can ramp up. To gradually increase the bulb's brightness, trigger various procedures a few minutes apart. If you want a weather report, you'll need to use Home Assistant or Stringify. From there, you can start with blue lights for rain, red for heat, etc. What you will need. You'll need a smart bulb with RGB colors in your lamp. Power shortages are annoying. Number one, workday countdown. Use color changing lights in your kitchen to know when to leave for work. You can also include traffic delays. The implement will depend on your program but you'll need a robust traffic report. Time-based methods are the easiest. When your smart bulb is done, change it from yellow to orange to red. What you will need, a smart bulb with RGB color. You won't find a fluorescent bulb for kitchen illumination, but you can use a flood bulb in recessed lights or under cabinet lighting, or use a colored lamp bulb. That's all for today. Hope you find the automation ideas interesting. If you enjoyed this video and want more content like this one, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button to get more home automation videos and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and I will personally reply to your comment. Thanks for watching.